So let's go and take a look at this example. So we're going to take a step back a little bit just so I can make sure you guys understand something. Wait, Ladies and what? <laughs> complex zeros. So again, I'm trying to really trying to get into your guys brain and just keep on poking at it. We're finding the zeros this chapter. When you guys are finding the zeros this chapter, I want you to be looking for the three ways that we've learned how to. If it's in factor form, that's the best, right? That's how we talked about first talked about multiplicity. You have it in factored form, you use zero product property. It's really easy to find multiplicity and so forth. Or if you it's factorable, then you go ahead and factor it. So what I would recommend in this problem is obviously go ahead and factoring it, right? This is something this isn't as hard as the last one. Zero. You guys can factor this, right? The limit zero is zero. Correct. So when you factor it out, you get this. Correct? Well, now I can solve both of those. So I'll use the zero product property. I'll replace f of x with 0. And by replacing f of x with 0, I say x is equal to 0, or x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's basically, or that, it's basically both of them combined. So now, when you go ahead and solve here, we're now entering in a new label of numbers. Okay. Yes, the fakes. So we're now entering a new um, set of numbers for this course, which we will be using. All right, which is going to be our imaginary numbers. So if, again, if I'm going to take the square root, again, please notice, do you guys remember that last problem? I took the square root. I did the plus or minus, right? Irrational numbers come from taking the square root, or at least the rational, irrational roots we're talking about. Irrational roots come from taking the square root of a non-square number. So if you're taking the square root of like 2 in the last case, you have to do plus or minus. Here, I'm taking the square root of negative 4. I have to include plus or minus. Now, we cannot take the square root of negative 4. Does everybody agree with me? Square root means what number multiplied by itself. Exactly the same. There's no numbers multiplied exactly the same. So what we do to avoid, to get out of our real number system, is we come up with something that we can take. The, so we can know we can take the square root of 4. We just can't take the square root of negative 4. So what we do is we factor out the negative 1. So we re rewrite it as 4 times negative 1. Now, we know what the square root of 4 is. That is going to be 2. However, square root of negative 1, we don't have anything in the real number system for the square root of negative 1. So we come up with the uh, imaginary number, or the complex number system, which is going to be i. Okay. main important thing that I want you guys to understand, when we're talking about irrational zeros as well as complex zeros, notice how the plus and the minus exist. Okay. You cannot have one without the other. Because they, they both come from taking the square root. So if you have a positive, you have to have the negative. Does that make sense? Yes? OK. Um, so your 0 set would be negative 2i, positive 2i, and 0. OK? All right. I think we might be all right. So let's